Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, hello, my name is Sarah, and I make lots of videos like these ones. I'm about to make my favorite video of the whole entire year in a couple weeks, and that is what I got my kids for Christmas videos. I also make stocking server videos, husband Christmas gift guides, or boy gift with guides. Um, I make all types of lifestyle content, mommy content. I also make lots of what's for dinner videos, plus size fashion videos, and beauty videos so if any of that strikes you fancy then I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and follow it along with us and our little journey here and our little family here um and if you haven't already follow me here on Instagram at Sarah England and uh yeah so today's video is going to be what I got my five-year-old for her birthday um I have two daughters, so if you've never seen me before, I have two daughters. One is five and one is two. My oldest daughter is Olive. My youngest is Eleanor. Olive is about to turn five in a couple of weeks. Um, actually, next week, I think. Oh my gosh, time's flying. Anyway, I wanted to show you um, all of the gifts that we are giving her for birthday ideas, but also for those of you who are starting your Christmas shopping. I am normally way ahead, like I'm normally done by this time of year when it when it's Christmas time. Excuse me, and I am like so far behind this year. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that unfortunately my dad passed away um, a few weeks ago and just, there's just life has hit hard, you know, during that time and also before that and I just am so behind with Christmas shopping. So I'm about to watch so many videos on just Christmas inspiration. I have the, the, the general idea of what I'm getting, but I'm not still 100% sure, so I'm about to watch so many videos. But on top of that, um, I wanted to give you some ideas from not only my Christmas gift guide that I'll post in a few weeks, but if you are wanting to get um, Jump the Gun, or if you just want more kid stuff, I don't know. So um, normally I like to go kind of around of a, a theme with my gift giving. Um, some of you may think this is way too much, some of you may think it's not enough, you know, to each his own. I'm the mama and my husband and I make these decisions together and we choose what they get. We don't buy them a lot throughout the year, we're not constantly buying them toys whenever we go to the store. Um, but Christmas is something we definitely do up real big. Since Olive's birthday is right before Christmas time, she doesn't normally get a whole heck of a bunch of stuff. Normally we do more of like a big fun thing to do, whether it's a party or this year we're going to go see Frozen. It's her first actual like movie theater experience. Um, we're going to see Frozen 2 and we're going to go to a big play indoor play area thing that just opened that's like gigantic um and out to dinner and she's gonna go to Build-A-Bear so we like to do more like experiment experiment ex experience um experiences for her birthday more than just like gifts and she's will be flooded with stuff during Christmas time so she does have some things um as well though that I want to show you so um, like I said, my dad passed away a couple weeks ago and I'm just kind of out of it. This is the first time I'm actually filming, filming a video since he passed away. Um, that wasn't telling you that he passed away. I did post that. And this is the first time that I've sat in the spot since. Um, this is actually the place where my mom called and told me, um, what had happened. And so I'm, I may be a little off in this video. So I just wanted to kind of give a little disclosure because I feel weird <laughs> sitting here right now filming this like this but I'm still really excited and healing is slowly but surely coming and I don't want to bring this video down but I just wanted to let you guys know so for those of you who are followers of my channels and subscribers thank you so much for all your kind messages and prayers and everything that you've done I'm so thankful for each and every one of you so enough of the sadness let's get into the fun gifts so first things first i'm going to insert a clip olive wanted a shelf that was like her main gift idea that she wanted she wanted a shelf and she's been asking for a shelf for months she loves to decorate and fancy things up and i think it comes from fancy nancy and all sorts of whatever she's enjoying on disney jr and she just likes to make things pretty and so um 
I decorated her room all Christmassy with the help of her um, elf on the shelf. Glitter came by and helped out too. And we decorated her room and it looked so cute. And we put a shelf in and we put some fun Christmas decorations on it. And throughout the rest of the year, she can pick what she wants to put on it. She wants to save her allowance to buy a fun, cute knickknack she can. But I think it was so cute. It was totally something that was easy and inexpensive. So I will insert the clip of the cute little shelf we got with the Christmas decorations. And if you're interested in her Christmas room decor video, I am about to edit that and have it uploaded as well but alongside that um, she is a huge artist she loves to color and draw and create it's one of her favorite things to do we go through so many um, just like sets of markers and crayons and because she just uses them until there's non-existent um, if you guys saw I like couple months ago um like a school supply video um i got this for her this is a scribble pad i get them from the dollar tree so they're super inexpensive but they're just a bunch of paper and she uses this all up and just creates and draws and she loves it so i love these i think these are awesome gift ideas because they're inexpensive but they're nice there's plenty of coloring to be had um and she prefers blank pages over like coloring books she likes to draw herself and then we're trying out some Mr. Sketch markers. These are more expensive. Normally, I've pretty much only bought her um, like Crayola brand markers that are inexpensive. But I decided that for her birthday, since it's her fifth birthday, we would bust into Mr. Sketch markers. Now, they do have a cheaper option um, that I believe is like a couple dollars or four dollars or something of the whole set. Sorry, I'm trying to open these up. <laughs> of the whole set. Um, but I noticed that these were washable. And I wanted to make sure they were washable because I know she will get them on everything. Um, on herself and her clothes and stuff. So the washable ones were, I think, $9. So these were a little bit pricey for a set of markers. And I hope she keeps care of them because she does have a problem with making sure she doesn't lose lids. So we're going to have to really watch out for these. But if you never have had a Mr. Sketch marker you need to these bring me back so many memories I remember my teachers having these growing up i remember getting my hands on a pack one time for a gift i love these for whatever reason they make me think of the sims too and i don't know if i was like playing the sims while i was coloring one time i don't know but i have like really weird memories with these but i'm really excited i can't wait i hope she enjoys them as much as i did as a kid so she has a little set of markers and a new drawing pad and then um, for her birthday, like I said, we are going to see Frozen 2, and, um, she had, like, crazy Frozen fever when she was, like, one to two, one to three, she was, like, obsessed with Frozen, and then it just, like, from, like, three to four, pretty much until this past month, she has had little little interested in Elsa or Frozen at all which was crazy because she was like obsessive uh, but now that the second one's coming out she's like excited again and so I decided to get the new Frozen dolls she has multiple Frozen Elsa and Anna's but she they're so loved their hair is like falling out they like look they're rough it's time for them to go to the toy heaven because they're like falling apart so I figured that we would choose upgrade and get the new ones now um like I said before I have a younger daughter so my youngest is going to get Anna and my oldest is going to get Elsa I wanted my youngest to be able to like participate in this too and since they're both sisters and one's older and younger I want them to have fun so um Olive will get Elsa and um Eleanor will get Anna, but I just got these from Walmart, I think, and they were like $9 or something. They have ones that sing and all sorts of ones, but I just got the basic ones with their new outfits on them, and their faces look different than the other Elsa and Anna dolls that we have, but I'm excited. I think these are super cute, so I'm going to give these to them, and they can carry them to the movie theater if they want, and I'm excited for them to be pumped for Frozen 2. So alongside that... Um, we also got our outfits that we're going to wear for that day. These are just practical items as well. I try to make sure I throw in a couple of those as, as often as I can. And so um, I did get little cute outfits. I wanted to get the new like costumes, but I, I wanted to be practical too. Um, and they both need some winter clothes. So I ended up getting just these little outfit sets. This is the Elsa one, obviously. Um, and this is so pretty. It's like sheer sleeves. Um, and there's like a little peplum 
bottom with some tulle, it's really fluffy, and then an Elsa emblem, if you will, and it comes with really fun, glittery, shiny leggings. So that's for Olive, and then Eleanor will get to participate in the fun as well. And Eleanor's comes with like crazy intense, like gold metallic leggings. And then her top is really pretty because it is Anna, and it has like the peplum as well, but hers has a cape. So I think these are both really cute. Um, I think I sized up, yeah, this is a 3T and a 5T. I got these both at Walmart for really inexpensive. I will have everything um, linked below that I can find, um, but I just think these are really pretty, and once again, they needed some extra clothes, so it works out really well, and it's a practical gift, but it's a really fun gift as well. So they will wear those to the movies, and they can bring their dollies if they want, and it's gonna be fun. Um, another thing that Ollie has been like kind of just wanting because I have one but also because she gets really cold in the morning. She is somebody who loves her sleep. I have to drag her out of bed and she likes to have her blanket wrapped around her in the morning. So I knew that it was time to invest in a robe. Now kids robes, specifically like character kids robes are so expensive like $25 for like a little cheapy robe and I don't understand. I do not understand why they're so expensive. But I was able to get this robe for like mega sale. I think this was like $7 on sale at uh, Kohl's one day because they were having some crazy sale. And it's originally $42, which is just astounding. Um, and it's a Jojo Siwa robe. If you don't know my daughter, then you wouldn't know. But if you follow me on Instagram, you knew you know that she was Jojo Siwa for Halloween. She's obsessed. And so I thought this was super cute. Just a little uh, robe that has a bunch of bows on it. We sized up for the size 6, which I think is going to be perfect for her. It has Jojo right here. And it's just a nice cozy robe that she can wear in the morning. I was going to save this for Christmas time. Um, but I figured it's getting really cold. And I know she's going to love it for the morning time. So she's got her new little Jojo robe to wear. It's another practical and useful gift. On that practical side as well, don't worry, we'll have some fun gifts in a second. Um, I did get her a new coat. She has grown out of her coat that she has. I try to get a coat that will last at least two seasons. Um, we've been able to be successful with that. There hasn't been some crazy growth spurt in the middle of a year or something like that yet. So we've been able to last for a couple seasons. But um, this year it was time to get a new one. So we found this one at the Disney store. And this looks like one of those like trauma blankets. <laughs> that you would get that from like a paramedic or something. It's ridiculous, but she loved it. It's holographic, like shimmery sequin looking. It's really like plasticky almost. It's, it's a weird coat. Um, it was from the Disney store. It is the new like Frozen themed one that they have. It has a fuzzy hood with snowflake lining inside. It does cinch at the waist. And then there's a picture of Elsa on the bottom. I don't know how much I love this coat. There's some really new ones from Cat and Jack at Target that are adorable, and I wish we got that one after uh, we'd already bought this one. I saw that at the store. I wish we got that one instead. Super cute, but she's she's just she's gonna love this. She's gonna love it. Um, but we got this for like I think like $19 on sale the other day, um, and I know that Disney Store will start having really good sales around the Christmas time and Black Friday. So I will have this link below. It's really cute. I know she'll be excited. It's just. It's just not my cup of tea, but it is nice and fuzzy and fleece lined inside. So she has that jacket and to go along with it, a hat and mitten set or glove set. Um, I just got these at Big Lots for $9 and it's just Elsa and it says sparkle and light on it and then has a little pom pom on top and then some matching gloves which she can just wear with it. Although looking at this, this doesn't match, but it'll, we'll make it work. But she's now on the Elsa thing again, so I got that for her. Practical and useful because she needs them, but they're cute and she'll be really excited. She loves just like dressing up and wearing like everyday clothes that are cute and fancy and she's totally in that age group now, so it's kind of fun to buy for her because she can like take things that she needs and like is excited about them. Okay, so the last two items are more of our fun items and she also really wanted a like a styling head doll, like the Barbie ones, but they have terrible reviews. Like 
atrocious reviews and I just didn't want to spend the money and her be disappointed. They also have a bunch of like Elsa or Jojo Siwa or um, I had one the other day that was like I think a unicorn but the hair is so thin and they come with such few accessories I just felt like it would not get played with for very long. Um, and then I went on researching and I found this on Amazon. I think this is new. This is called a Moxie Girl and she has a full head of hair um it's it looks a lot thicker and fuller than the barbies ones does and you can paint her nails as well there's like a nail polish um and some like glitter fun makeup you can do and then there's also hair color that you can that she can use which i might take those for a little bit so she doesn't use those but i guess her like hair straightener like if you put water or something in it, colors her hair, and then she has a brush so she can style her hair and everything. And if you saw my Christmas video last year, you know that she's obsessed with fun, Sunny Day. She got tons of fun little styling tools. Um, so she already has that stuff. So this is fun because it's stuff she doesn't already have, like a little thing that'll color her hair and all that stuff and like fake nail polish. Um, so I think she's really going to like this one. And they do have her, I think she, they do have one that is named Sophina who has like brunette hair and this is Avery who's blonde. She, one of her best friends is named Avery and looks very similar to this. So we got this one because I thought that would be kind of fun. So um, I will have this link below. I think this was like $25 on Amazon, but I really like this styling head. I think that this looks like a, a winner. So I will keep you updated, but if your little one's looking for like a fun styling head, check out this one. And then the last gift um, is something that she's been wanting for a long time and it's actually kind of a special one because um, it is something that my dad wanted to buy her for her birthday but unfortunately he passed away before he could do so and so it's kind of a special gift because um, we are going to say that it's from my dad um, so I'm sorry I'm not trying to get emotional <laughs> anyway those of you who've never seen me before who are just watching this for gift ideas are probably like oh wow what did I walk into um, anyway, but she saw this with him at the store one day and she's been talking about wanting a scooter for a long time and then she saw this and he was like, okay, I want to get her that, I want to get her that. And, um, he just never got a chance to go get it. So, it is this Dimensions Unicorn scooter. So, that's what it looks like as like a rainbow handle. Um, it has a full like unicorn head with unicorn hair and the like actual like um, thing where her foot goes is like nice and grippy. This has really good reviews on um, Walmart. That's where I got it but I have seen this also at Target um, and I decided to get this one because this is the one they picked out together but she'd been wanting a scooter for a long time um, and I was actually going to buy one before my dad had said they found one that she liked. So we ended up getting this one from Walmart um, but it's really cute and of course there's like a ton of scooters out now. I think this same line has like Chase and Sky and all of that stuff. Um, this is for 3 plus. I hope it's big enough for her. That's my only concern that it's a, it may be too small. So if that's the case it'll have to be go down to my youngest daughter and then we get a bigger one for my older daughter but I'm hoping that it fits um, her little body size just fine. So this is her last gift and kind of her bigger gift even though it's not as super expensive but it looks like such a big gift so that is her last and that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know for some of you this may seem like a ton of stuff and for some of you this may seem like nothing but um, this is what we just feel comfortable with giving her and we, these are some things that she really wants and some things that she needs and just experiences that we're excited to take her on. Of course next month is also Christmas time so she will be getting spoiled because that's what I like to do on Christmas. I know some people have a lot of feelings about it and some people totally are in agreement with me but that is what we just decide to do because we are her parents and you feel comfortable with whatever you'd like. I hope I give you some good ideas though and like I said I will try and make sure I have everything linked for you to below to shop if you are interested in any of these items um, and I'm so excited. I hope you guys are having a really good fall time and as this holiday season approaches. I know for me it is definitely a sensitive season for me. Normally I'm so elated for the holidays to come around but this year is definitely a lot harder for me and I know for everyone 
um, it's different. Some people were like me where I was super elated and some people are like me now who have a hard time with the holidays. Um, whether you're grieving a loss of a loved one or um, you're not close to family members or whatever you're going through, just know that um, I'm here and I can would be love to talk to you or just send you a virtual hug and I hope you feel loved and appreciated um, and valued and I wish you a happy holidays friends whenever time of year you're watching this I wish I hope you're doing well and are having a good season of your life and if you're not just know that seasons change and new things happen and brings new life every change every season so Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.